Hey, what's up everybody? Jake here at Picote Solutions Worldwide Training Center. Day two of some training um, with Restore Pipe Systems. Uh, we are in the middle of doing a little bit of internal epoxy coating training right now. So I'm going to flip the camera around so everybody can see. So yesterday we installed a coat of white epoxy. Now we're installing the dark gray. This is a two color epoxy. We're using that dark contrast of the second color um, to show exactly how well we're covering on the inside of the pipe as we go through. We just completed uh, also here doing this, uh, this two inch. You can see this configuration. These are two inch pressure 90s through a 45. Again, this is our second coat. So right here, where you see this big puddle, yeah. you'd want to actually pull your brushes through and, and kind of rake that back so you don't push your camera through it. Okay. So you cut your brushes on, pull that back, and then just turn your brushes off and then push forward two feet and check. So you see it's it's pretty thin right up in here. Your brush just shouldn't be taking all of that off. Okay. As long as you get good coverage, you shouldn't need. I mean, you're going to have to do more than one coat anyway. So, if you get in front of the So, again, internal epoxy coating training going on right now here at our training center. You can see here the system lays a bead of epoxy into the bottom of the pipe, and the brushes pick it up and broadcast it to the inside wall of the pipe. Yesterday's coat was white, today's coat is a dark gray. It's allowing for that dual contrast so we can verify consistent coverage. We can go back and check this and make sure it's thick enough. If it's not thick enough, we can simply reapply more. If it's too thick, we can just back drag the material that we've installed. So either way, we can control the situation completely. We've got plenty of working time. Some other systems on the market, they claim they can cure in five or 10 seconds. And that's great, but how would you ever control a situation inside the pipe when you're trying to apply the material? In order to, to ensure that you're getting full and complete coverage, you want to really put that material on thick. So we lay that bead of epoxy in the bottom, and as you can see, the brushes pick it up and broadcast it right onto the inside wall of the pipe. If there are any cracks or joints or voids, it's going to push that material right into the cracks and joints and voids and completely seal them up. Here's some examples of some, some different pipes that we've done just recently during training. Old cast iron that was thought to be worthless. We've gone in and we've descaled it with our equipment and gone in and coated these pipes and, and restored them. If somebody would have taken the initiative to begin with to uh, to restore these pipes the right way while they were still installed, um, they could have uh, they could have avoided excavation and issues. Here's a pipe that had a crack in it, a stack. You can see here the epoxy just sealed that completely.
You can see there's two coats inside this pipe. So that's it. Again, epoxy coating training here, live at uh, Worldwide Training Center, Coat Solutions.